Good morning. I'm Claire. And I'm Miriam. And it is Thursday, November 30th. Today we have a feature about students who leave their peers every Wednesday morning and a feature about students who make intentional choices about their diets. Celeste McCalla has a story about students who are vegans. In the lunchroom, several students have chosen to eat healthier. I started last August, actually, so I've been vegan for over a year now. But before that, I made like a slow transition. I was originally like omnivore, I guess, and then I went vegetarian for two months, and then I went full on vegan. And I just like meat was like hurting my stomach every time I ate it, so I just um, kind of stopped eating that and. My stomach felt a lot better. With very few vegan options at restaurants, going out to eat can be difficult. Most restaurants only provide vegan options such as salads or french fries. The biggest impact on my health, I've probably lost a lot of weight. I mean, it's not necessarily bad, but uh, I've definitely seen a change in how that, how kind of I'm ready for the day, I guess. I may have sometimes less energy or more energy depending on what I eat. I started learning more about the ethical reasons behind it and I just kind of like became more aware of what I was eating and I didn't really want to put that stuff in my body. What students choose to eat in the lunchroom may impact more than this themselves. Each students choose to eat differently for their own beliefs to protect the environment. Thanks, Calista. Every Wednesday morning before school, FCA students meet. Some of those involved lead others in Bible studies. Lindsay Schaefer has a story for you about these students. Fellowship of Christian Athletes is a club that's been around for over 60 years and has made a lasting impact in many students' lives, including seniors like Rachel McCall and Ellie Jarzinski, who have been a part of the club since freshman year. I was looking for clubs to join in my freshman year. My brother loved FCA and I had a lot of friends who were involved, so I started coming every week and then my junior year I decided to be a leader and it's been an amazing club. With meetings every Wednesday, FCA offers the chance for students to join together without distraction. FCA allows students to become leaders and teach the lessons rather than adults. We usually start out sometimes with a song, like we'll just worship a little bit and then we go into about 10 to 15 minutes of teaching and that's done by the FCA leaders, which are students. So it's not usually adults teaching, it's usually students from the school. So there's two or three students teaching a lesson about a certain topic, and then after that we'll pray sometimes in groups, and then that's pretty much the end of it. For them, the club is more than just a weekly meeting. These girls have been attending for all four years of high school, and they've taken leadership roles to teach the lessons and help the underclassmen. Um, I think it's been a good opportunity to kind of like be a leader within the group of leaders. Like um, when we work together to write our lessons and decide what we're going to talk about, it's been a good opportunity to like work with some younger people and try and help them figure out what they want to talk about and just kind of set the tone for their future years. For lower classmen remaining in the club, the girls offer advice to keep up the environment of the meetings. We have some underclassmen who are already FCA leaders, so just maintain the uh, amount of effort that you put into it. Just be bold and go for it. Be a leader. Don't be afraid and just invite people to come because the more people that show up, it's the better. FCA meets on Wednesday mornings at 7, and all are welcome. Thanks, Lindsay. Today has a few big events happening during the school day. One is that the Key Club Blood Drive is happening in the Hall of Excellence. Did you know that it takes eight students to make one gallon of blood? About 100 students are signed up to donate, which means CG, in these two days, will provide Central Indiana with more than 12 gallons of life-saving blood. Another is that today is the last chance for seniors to get their senior pictures taken. Those are happening in the Chrome Lab. If you're not signed up to get your picture, that's okay. Stop by during STAR or your lunch to get your picture. You must be photographed by Prestige to have your picture in the yearbook. All the winter sports are in action this weekend. Both boys and girls swimming are at Columbus North at 10 a.m. tomorrow, and wrestling will be opening their season at 9 a.m. tomorrow in Bloomington North Tourney. Both boys and girls basketball teams play tonight. The girls will travel to Lawrence Central looking for their first conference win of the season, and our third-ranked boys basketball team will take on fourth-ranked Cathedral as two potential Indiana All-Stars match up against each other with Trace Jackson Davis and Cathedral's Armand Franklin. And that's all we have today for you, CG. Bye!